is a believer, kings, queens, and everything in between. I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, and regards to love for a general 10 day forecast for the 15th through the 24th. Clear and concise messages, please, Spirit. Clear and concise messages. Once more. So the overlying message, underlying message, it was an overlying, mm, is trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Mm. You guys are struggling with trusting something here. It could be because you're struggling with letting go of some sort of control issues or someone that you're involved in, involved with, are having those struggles. All right. Now let's get your energy here. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so someone is not showing you how they truly feel about you is that strong energy that i'm getting here we have um stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance you know <laughs> you guys are finding it hard to trust in someone's trust in someone's motives to wanting to be with you here um, also, um, this could be your person's energy as well. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Someone new is trying to come in but cannot. Um, some of you is because of um, some past love that you continuously are dealing with here. We also have give your relationship a chance or bring your partnership. See, like you guys are going back and forth with yourself to try to figure out if you are wanting to give something new a chance or give someone in the past a chance we have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture all right and i just saw 222 look up those spirit numbers you guys all right so we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what past energy is moving out i just saw escapism here but we're going to see what past energy is moving out and what current energy is coming in as well as the challenges you guys are facing during this time all right too many cards here but we have ending detached happiness and left hanging so definitely a sense that you guys could have been left hanging from someone um if not physically emotionally you could have felt like someone was emotionally cold or detached from you here it could have been a third party situation that you guys were dealing with during the time as well all right past energy moving out current energy spirit and the challenge please thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, soul contract. You're definitely dealing with someone that you have a high, uh, a soul commitment that's due. Like it's, if even if it's a karmic, it's somebody that you're dealing with or are going to be dealing with that you have a, yeah, and this person is the person that's lying we got deception right there some of you guys could have been dealing with their twin flame here and felt like you were liberated from this person recently and that's why you're going back and forth with yourself thinking about giving someone else a chance or dealing with this person still we have revealing i'm ready to express what's been on my mind express your love you see what i'm saying that's that past energy though that's moving out i feel like a lot of you guys have already expressed how you felt about someone and you know you felt like the feelings were not mutual so you're like okay well i tried <laughs> that was fun i tried and then you kind of decided to move on at least physically a lot of you guys emotionally still have not moved on from that situation go ahead and give me a revealing spirit what is being revealed all right All right, so a lot of you guys wanted the opportunity with this person here. You know, um, you felt like this was some high level um, connection here with this person. And you wanted it to work. You, you tried to create something here, but someone was guarded in this connection, whether it be you or the person. You were possibly dealing with the Sagittarius here. Someone was really guarded about their feelings towards you, or you were really guarded about you know the feelings that you gave towards this person i'm um, given that 
I'm getting that it could have been definitely the other way around here. Soulmate, you are my soulmate, a dream come true. Again, with that soul contract energy here, you know, um, that's the current energy that's going on. <laughs> and it's so crazy because it's like uh, somebody that you like, mm, you know, you get a lot of soulmates. And I'm getting the sense that you have another one up because somebody was acting right. So like the universe is trying to send you that new that new love, but until you kind of figure out what you want to do back here, it's not gonna come to you, is what I'm getting. What's so many here? Why is so many here scared? Alright, we got six of wands, king of pentacles, and we have the knight of cups in the reverse. Alright, so <laughs> all right, so with the Knight of Cups in the reverse, that's definitely an energy of hmm, kind of being how can I say that? Possibly being somewhat of narciss of a narcissist. This person could be overly emotional here or be like emotionally disconnected here. It's like someone that you want a win with or someone that you want some sort of stable connection with is someone that is not giving their love to you, right? That's your energy right now. Like I said, you're going back and forth, but that's your energy right now. Somebody that you want to move forward with, they're not really giving you what you want. They're not giving you the love that you are giving them. Um, and this is someone that you want some sort of stable connection with. Could, been a, could be a Virgo here or... A Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio here or a Libra. Yeah, you guys could possibly be in separation with from this person right now. All right, let's see the challenge here. What's the challenge here, Spirit? All right, we have unrequited. Your love, um, loving you, is the most painful thing I've done. So someone here feels like the love is not. Um, consensual, I'm about to say consensual. The love is not, um, okay. The Knight of Swords, like, mm, okay. All right, so we're gonna put that back with we'll this here. Yeah, so it's like this person does not want this steady commitment that you keep on trying to have with this person here, and This person does care about you. They do. But it's... They're not... They're holding back their emotions. They're possibly juggling you at this point. Could be dealing with the earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here. And it's like you keep on trying to come in, you know, rushing in and, and trying to have something solid with this person. But this person keeps on, like, giving you the, well, I don't know, type of energy like they don't know if they want to be with you or want to start something or want to continue something with you at least not nothing stable with this knight of wands here this person appears very guarded from you they're guarding their emotions from you and that's why you can't get no level any level of stability with this person at this time what's coming in and what's the intention and what doesn't libra know about libra sun moon rising venus and mercury spirit Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clear and concise messages, please. Clear and concise messages. Thank you. Alright. Alright. So we have intimate date. Let's go out. Have a drink or two and have a little fun. So <laughs> Someone's, someone's trying to come in and date you. We got awakened love and nothing solid. And I'm feeling like the person from the past is going to realize that they want to be with you, but still not wanting to offer anything solid for some. For others, it's a sense that this person, a new person is coming in with this love, and then you're still focused on the person that needs to heal that can't offer you anything solid. Okay. 
All right, why is this intimate date here? And for some of you, it's this old person trying to offer you this intimate date, and it's just like a little small token. Like, it's still going to be the same routine. They're not trying to really do anything. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing grandiose, but they're not trying to do anything uh, big for you. They're just not, they, they, they don't want that right now. It's, it's not where it is. Thank you. All right, the chariot. All right, the will of fortune. Cancer energy, and then the nine of cups. Okay, so the judgment card in the reverse. So you're being guided to no longer continue to make bad choices, okay? Because for a lot of you, you're going to go towards this person, even though they've shown you time and time again that they are really not to be trusted and you can't really depend on them here, right? Um, you, okay. You have an unrealistic expectation of what this person is going to be to you at this time, okay? You have to bring that shit in because you really want to move forward. You really want a new start with this person, right? You want that. But you got to have realistic aspect, expectations for this. And right now you don't, okay? But it is someone else coming in, you know, that is trying to offer you that. But you keep blocking them. You keep blocking them. And because this person isn't, they're not the same. Like, they're not the same person. That's how you keep blocking them. Miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. This person is not stopping. Like... <laughs> This person says you're going to hear what I have to say. And this person do regret the shit that they did to you, but that don't stop the fact that, okay, so you regret it, so what are what are the changes? It's no changes, and that's the fucking problem. This person is not fucking changing. It's like they want to come towards you, sure, you know, but they don't want to change. They just want to be able to come towards you with that same um, energy that they've been doing this whole time. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What did I say? They do not want to offer you any type of recognition. They are not ready to really work on this. Not like you want them to. This is all about um, this person doing shit, coming towards you out of boredom or whatever. Like Two of Pentacles, yes. Confusion, stagnation, still not going to offer you shit real. Right. Have you sitting there and waiting on them? Just have you sitting there waiting again. But but offer you the world, but don't really have shit to show for it. Not for real. Seven of Pentacles still patiently waiting and being burdened by this fucking relationship. No, man. No. Rejection. This is what you don't see coming. And this is what I've been saying this whole time. Because they not ready. They not. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. Why is rejection here, spirit? Tell me why rejection is here. Why is rejection here, spirit? Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the hermit card. Virgo energy. We have the star. Aquarius energy. And we have the five of cups. All right, so it's like you guys are feeling like you're learning from your mistakes here. For a lot of you, um, you kind of go inward and in trying to heal yourself, realizing that the reason, okay, all right, realizing that the reason that you dealt with this is because of certain things about yourself that you need to heal, um, even if you don't end up with this person. But also, a lot of you are realizing that this person needs to heal themselves, look within and figure out what they want moving forward because you can't. <laughs> you can't continuously go through this cycle with them. Yeah. You can't want you can't want them more than they want you. Because a lot of you are trying to transform this relationship with this person into something that is comfortable and in, into something that is worthwhile here with the nine of pentacles. But this person is just showing you their true colors here. But you're trying to make them into something that they're not, and they are just not it. It's like you are falling for this person's potential and not seeing everything that this person is actually doing. All right, let's get some more messages here. Okay. What to 
good goodness grace is roller coaster high as high as you're in the rush that is what you continuously go through with this person cleansing what did i just say meditation clearing space removing negativity you need to heal yourself and that's how you could do it by cleansing your space because this person they're, they're just not ready yet they just aren't escapade vacation hideaway adventure some of you guys are going to be getting away getting away from this shit negotiate a bargaining begging okay this person could be in that energy for some of you yeah especially if you have a kid with them who has a child support and alimony cards are under that and especially if you have a kid with them they're wanting to keep you around specifically because they feel like maybe they won't have to pay um as much if you you know if you guys uh stay together but what is that to st what what's the reason like that's not a good enough reason man like for real high honor someone that you hold in high regard or someone that you will hold in high regard i feel like this other person is trying to take you away like they're seeing that they're trying to take you away yeah clear your space even if it's the people that you love again this person like if especially if there's somebody you have a kid we gotta say it again like clear your space from this person also getting like twin flame energy here yes you're moving away from this roller coaster ass shit with distant horizons despair that's what's at the bottom of this and bargaining and fucking begging is right here yeah they're gonna be hurt because you you always hurt after the fact when you realize it's no longer sweet you always hurt but fuck that ain't nobody ha mm, no one has time to continuously allow somebody to, to shit on them regardless if they mean to or not and i'm not saying this person is a bad person i'm just saying like hell how many times you i'm gonna let you try to get your stuff together with me like i'm but i'm holding the bag are you trying to get your stuff together that's mm -mm, that's dead okay that's ashes to ashes dust to dust all right kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love and you will once you distance yourself from this person ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union again cleansing your space getting away from this person yes we have uh, relationship evolving in the next phase healing your inner child growth what did i say yes okay again this is somebody that's handed cards in the reverse not wanting to play games take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling this person not trying to gamble baby all right um heart with a key and it's welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together perfect. But you're not, you're not opening your heart. And that's what's, that's what's messing you up here. A lot of you are not opening your heart to this love that's coming towards you. What signs will the um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury be dealing with during this time, Spirit? Thank you. Clear and concise messages, please. Thank you. Thank you. We got Virgo here. We got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we got Leo, as well as Jupiter, Sagittarius again here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.